Hey YouTube, this EXO coming at you today, ultra excited and one step closer to starting our brand new build. But this time we have got something very special to install, our very own subwoofers. That's right, the Contralto series is finally here. It feels so crazy to see my name written on these boxes, so of course I can't wait to show you guys. We've been working with Crescendo since 2011 and every year just keeps getting better and better. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the Contralto series woofers. Now let's dive right into this. Now to be honest, when I first saw pictures posted online, I damn near shat myself. So excuse me if I have to run out of the room real fast. But no, seriously, the biggest thing that stood out in all the photos were the motors. And somewhere beneath all these flaps here is a nice custom fit foam insert to make sure it stays nice and protected during shipping. Let's see if we can see it. There it is. Check it out. Nice and protected, ready for anything the UPS can throw at you. So let's go ahead and snatch this beauty right out of there. Woo wee! Look at all that ass. Damn! We have got ourselves a little monster here, YouTube. This woo! Sitting pretty on a chromed out triple stack, protected by a nice stylized rubber booty. Mm-hmm. Really making that orange basket pop too. Good lord. And honestly, I'm so glad they went with this particular four spoke. I've seen it around a few other times, always loved it. So it's a nice change up from the common 12 spoke. Definitely good looking out there. And with a solid one piece T-Oak design, she'll stay nice and strong and run cool as well. Just take a look at her. Mm. I can already hear those beefy eight layer 2.5s thanking us with some thump. Yep. That's right, eight layer coils, and with an even bigger set of three inch coils on the 12s through 18s. The 10s just needed 2.5s to fit, but with these beefy eight layers, the more winding material, the more power, baby. Boom, and with all that extra power, that's exactly why she's reinforced with carbon fiber. I'm a huge fan of that, especially for these non-pressed paper cones. Very good looking, and she matches up nice with a double stitch foam surround. Going deeper, the speaker terminals are no exception laced up with dual sewn tinsel leads directly into the spiders and she joins up nice with two sets of eight gauge push terminals both these will help deliver power most effectively and keep our subs nice and happy but really all that power is useless unless it's well controlled and by taking a closer look at our spiders we can clearly see that's been taken care of because these landings are literally smothered with adhesive I mean shit that's a lot of glue definitely a good sign as we continue on to the larger sizes. Overall, the Contralto series is looking mighty tasty so far, but to think we got three more of these bad boys to open, well, don't worry, we'll try not to repeat ourselves because a lot of what we've already seen carries over to the larger sizes. But since there are a few key differences, let's go ahead and compare them side by side, shall we? All right, so here's the entire lineup, everyone. And jumping right out are the 18s, because unlike its smaller siblings, the 18-inch model employs a six-spoke basket, which is very strong and a popular choice. Personally, I think they look badass. Another difference we'll notice once we arrive at the 12s are the slightly larger soft parts. Both the voice coil and the spiders have been enlarged. This helps increase the excursion and power handling and is the reason why we see different RMS ratings. The 10 simply couldn't spare the room, so for all the other sizes, bigger spider packs with a three inch, eight layer coil were added. Now that's what I'm talking about. So now that we've got a good understanding of each woofer, let's go ahead and fire them up, shall we?
shit. It's shaking the whole camera. Dang. Hot damn YouTubulus. Definitely getting down and dirty on this home receiver. Got her plugged up with just this small gauge wire, but it's enough to get a video for you. I wasn't able to power the other subs because they're actually for sale. Brand new inbox. I'll even sign my name on them if you'd like me to, if you want to pick them up. Personally, from my Facebook page, add me up there. Really loving these crescendo subs. I cannot wait to get the wall done in the ion. Oh shit. The crescendo woofers are here, guys. Oh man, the ion is gonna be getting some serious noise. <laughs> oh, there it is! That's one big car audio package right there, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, YouTube, this in closing, these subs are killer, and I feel so honored to see my name written on them. I look forward to being able to make more videos of them and being able to do the big build in the ION with the 18s. It's going to be lots of cool stuff to look forward to, so be sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. All information will be available in the description, and if you'd like to purchase these subs yourself, check out the Crescendo Audio website. This is EXO, signing out until the next video. Yeah, 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 yeah.